Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. I have your update for the day. I wanted to share um, a couple of quick announcements that hopefully are um, headed in the direction of making your job easier and making things more streamlined um, for us as a whole team. So a few little details to share that again are gonna make a difference for you. <clears throat> the first is that our phone company, Raider Solutions, they are looking into a new feature on our phones that we'll be able to utilize soon where we can differentiate the ring for internal versus external. So you'll know the difference of if you're being paged from another phone or if um, a client's on the phone for you. So the phone will ring differently soon. We'll let you know when that'll be, hopefully within the next week or so, we'll get that going and um, everybody will know about it. I'm sure you'll hear it before we get to make the announcement. So again, just be looking out for that. Um, until then, I would make sure that I answered the phone the same way, really professional and client ready um, all the time um, until you learn what the difference is and we tell you. <clears throat> the next thing that I wanted to share is um, a reminder. Since we redid our vaccines, we redid our vaccine code as well. And I know some team members like old habits die hard that um, maybe we're still trying to enter the vaccine code for canines as DH. LP and it's actually now just DHL so that'll get you the whole combo vaccine um, maybe you would be doing this if you were entering vaccine um, reminders or um, copying over from a vaccine reminder list from another practice so you would use DHL for that instead of the P uh, the next thing that I wanted to share was a biggie. We talked about it in rounds this morning. Um, just making sure that everybody understood those healthy pup prevention packs. Um, I had to say it real slow to make sure that you understood what we said, healthy pup prevention packs for either Sentinel or Trifexis. That's a package that's intended to take you from a puppy's last puppy visit where they're approximately four months old until the time where they're ready for um, a pro heart injection at eight months old. And we want to do that specifically so that if they get it at eight months old, that when they're due to come back for their next dose of pro heart at 14 months old, it lines up with their annual. So we're trying to start all of our new puppies on this regimen. Again, when we start seeing them, we dose them with single doses of heartworm prevention. Once they are ready for their last set of puppy shots, um, they're approximately four months old at that point, we would dose them with a healthy pup prevention pack and give them four single doses, which we can um, kind of use your judgment and calculate out depending on how you feel like they're gonna go through their growth stages and what their weights are gonna be at each um, time. A lot of the Sentinel and Trifexis doses have pretty broad ranges so that you could easily predict if at four months old your puppy is 30 pounds that um, maybe you need to give them one or two more 26 to 50 50s and then give them the other 51 to 100. I'd rather dose up and round up than go down. But under that code for the Healthy Pup Prevention Pack for either Sentinel or Trifexis, you can do four tablets that would represent the four months to get them from four to eight months old. It's really important to do this instead of just doing single tablets because with the pack, they're not only getting a value and bundling those things together, but they are also getting a pro heart reminder to remind them to come back in and get that service. We haven't quite been doing that right. So um, one thing that we're starting today is kind of cleaning up the mess of not doing it right. I don't think some people um, listened to the update where we put that out, or maybe you've forgotten and gotten confused um, and started doing single doses again. That's not what we want to do. Use the packages for the Healthy Pup Prevention Pack for either Sentinel or Trifexis, that client's choice, that would line up with a pro heart reminder at eight months old when we're gonna give that next dose. You could even go ahead and make the pro heart appointment if you'd like. That way they can just rearrange it on the schedule, but it's on the schedule, so they'll be reminded in that way too. Um, it all comes together to make sense, but you have to do that immediately. And I wanted to remind everybody that over the summer months, we decided to change our primary heartworm prevention from Sentinel 
too pro hard. So you really need to be talking to all these clients who are coming in with new puppies, especially about transitioning to pro hard. And then as people come in for their annuals and they've been giving Sentinel or Trifexis or whichever other preventative that you can talk to them and offer pro heart. Pro heart pairs really well with Semperica and other flea preventatives and um, it really does help with compliance and it gets them in on a twice yearly regimen so that we can help them with other recommendations and the best care for their pet. It all comes together but you have to remember that it's your job to recommend these. I'm putting it in the headline because we put a lot of pressure on the nurses as if it's exclusively their job, but it's also the job of our doctors, of course, our customer care team and our resort team to all reinforce these recommendations as well. And to make sure that records are complete um, and that we're doing things consistently so that everyone gets the same recommendation and these automated systems just work like they're supposed to. So please be aware of these things just to summarize. Pro Heart's our primary recommendation. When you have puppies in and they're in for their last visit, set them up with a healthy pup prevention pack for either Sentinel or Trifexis. Make their next appointment, and then when they come back when they're eight months old, set them up to get their Pro Heart that day and schedule their annual. We're always after scheduling the next appointment so that we can really serve our clients the best and their pets don't fall through the cracks. Um, so make sure that you understand that Listen to this again if you need to. Uh, the next thing that I wanted to share is um, a reminder. It's, it's one of those common sense things, but it kind of gets missed. When you enter a charge for something, you really need to look and make sure that you've not only chosen the accurate item, but also look at the price of it. We have a lot of things that depend on um, the quantity of inventory that we use to generate the price. And so if you enter something but you don't complete the inventory window, it may show up as zero cost. Or maybe you put a decimal where you weren't supposed to and it showed up as some kind of minuscule price. We're not going to give an injection to a pet that costs less than $30 ever. So. If you notice that, you wanna make sure that you double check your work and look at the inventory window. And certainly if you put something in and it shows up as zero, you might wanna check your work. We really only have one or two things in our system that would show up as zero and they're gonna be labeled complimentary. So when you enter those, you knew what you were doing as a complimentary service and that would be a complimentary hospitalization or a complimentary nail trim everything else has a price. So if you chose it and you meant to put it in as a price, make sure that you look not only at the accuracy of the item that you chose, but also at the price column, the fee column, so that you can ensure that that's all correct. You gotta make sure that you do this before you post the invoice because it's really, really hard to go back. But I'm gonna start asking you to from this time on um, if you've made a mistake in this kind of way. Uh, the next thing that I wanted to add was um, really another one of those announcements for everybody. We've now added a glossary for heartworm treatment, um, and the glossaries are for phase one and for phase two. And then we also have um, updated our treatment plans for phase one and phase two to um, reference our new hospitalization fees that we've had for a while that hadn't been updated on those estimates. So when we accept these patients coming in as a drop-off, we'll need to make sure that the glossary um, or the history for that patient is completed as well as the treatment plans are signed off on. So we'd like to attach those off um, when we are preparing them for a drop-off. That notes for our customer care team and also for our nurses who are receiving those, that you know that you'll need to complete the glossary, you'll need to make sure that the, um, the estimate or the treatment plan was signed. Um, take a look at those before you actually have to go do them. You can just go to the glossary area and review the questions. That way you're sure um, that you know what to expect before you're put in a position where you have to get that from a client. Okay, guys, that's all I had for today. Thanks for tuning in and continuing to do a great, a great job. Um, we appreciate you, and I hope you're enjoying our Pet Caregivers Appreciation Week. Take care.